What's up everyone, my name is Keon and I'm a trainer at Shred's Gym in Ladera Ranch, California. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through a lower body hit workout, okay? So with that said, let's get right into it. So here's the workout I have for you today. So I'm gonna hold it up here for a little bit. You could pause it and take a picture of it or just jot it down real quick and then I'll explain it. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing here is we have a warm up and then a workout with three different stations. So for the warm up, we're gonna do uh, five eccentric air squats with a five second, um, five second eccentric on the way down. Then we're gonna do 10 reverse lunges. Then we're gonna do 15 hollow rocks and a 30 second wall sit. You're gonna repeat this three times. Once you're done with that warm up, you can take about a minute rest. Then we're gonna get, gonna get into the workout. So the workout is going to be, like I said, three stations. Each station has is gonna consist of three exercises. We're gonna do each exercise for 20 seconds, and then at the end of the three, you're gonna take a 20 second break, and then go back into it and repeat it five times. So for example, station one is going to be 20 seconds of goblet squats, immediately into 20 seconds of sumo goblet squats, and then immediately into 20 seconds worth of squat lunges. Then you take a 20 second break, you repeat that four more times. Likewise, station two, you're gonna do 20 seconds of RDLs, 20 seconds of sumo RDLs, then 20 seconds of glute bridges, okay? Then a 20 second break, repeat four times. Then station three is gonna be 20 seconds of split squats on your right leg, into 20 seconds of split squats on your left leg, and then into um, 20 seconds of step through lunges, okay? And then a 20 second break, and you're gonna repeat four times. And in between each station, you can take about a minute to two minute rest. I recommend about a minute and a half. And if you do so, you should be able to get through this workout in about 40 to 45 minutes. So this workout is designed to not only um, include some resistance training so that you're putting on muscle and building your strength up, but it's also designed to get your heart rate up. So you can have both benefits of cardio and weight training. So with that said, let's get into it. I'm gonna demonstrate the exercises for you. I'm not gonna go through it entirely just for the sake of time, but I'll show you each exercise and then we'll go from there. Okay, so with that said, let's get right into it. Okay. So we are going to start with five second, or five eccentric squats with the five second on the way down. So all I want you to do is find your a preferred foot position with an foot angle and then all you're going to do is brace your core and then go one two three four five hit the bottom come back up one two three four five and come back up we're going to do five of those okay so five squats then we're going to go into reverse lunges so reverse lunge you're going to be standing here you're going to take a step back and then go down, touch. Step back, go down, lunge. Now, on your lunge, you can either um, touch the knee, touch your knee to the ground, or when you lunge, you can go step back and just hover it right above. So I typically uh, touch my knee to the ground very lightly. And the only reason I do this is because I want to make sure that I'm getting a consistent range of motion with each lunge. So uh, sometimes, especially as you go up in weight or you get tired, if you're not touching the ground, you may find that on one side, you go here and stop right there. But maybe on the other side, you're getting a little bit farther down without necessarily touching the ground. And you wanna be consistent on both sides because you obviously wanna build up the strength and size equally on both sides. So um, if you're able to control it and get um, as perfect as possible on both sides without touching the ground, great. If you can't, try, try and touch the ground to make sure you're getting a consistent range of motion. But remember, you don't want to slam your knee into the ground because that's just going to hurt your knee, okay? So after we do 10 reverse lunges, so one on each side, so this is one, two, three, etc. cetera, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten. So five on each side. Then we're gonna go into hollow rock. So hollow rock is a core exercise, okay? So I'll demonstrate it for you. All you're going to do is get on the ground, lie on your back, hands above your head like this, 
okay, feet out in front of you. All you're gonna do is rock, just like that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. What you really wanna do, is you wanna focus on engaging your core by pulling your rib cage down, okay? And then just rock back and forth on your lower back, okay? So again, I'll show it to you one more time. So you're gonna engage your core and just rock. Try and keep your upper back, your shoulders off the ground. Don't let them touch. You're kind of just rocking on your lower back and um, your lower back and your mid back area, okay? So you're gonna do 15 of those. And when you're done with that, you're gonna go into a wall sit, okay? So you're gonna find a piece of the wall and you're gonna go as down as far as you can that you can hold for 30 seconds. So if you can only go this far and hold it for 30 seconds, that's fine. You can go all the way to parallel, and that's perfect. Don't go any more than parallel, okay? And you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds, really squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes, okay? And just hold this here, and that's really gonna help warm up your knees and warm up your quads, okay? So that when we're doing a lot of squatting and stuff throughout this workout, your knees will feel good, and not will we'll be nice and warm and loose, able to handle the load, okay? So again, five eccentric air squats with five seconds on the way down, 10 reverse lunges, 15 hollow rocks, and then a wall sit for 30 seconds. You're gonna repeat that three times. That's gonna be your warm up. okay? Then we're gonna go into station one. So station one is gonna include goblet squats, sumo goblet squat, and squat jumps. So what we're gonna do, if you have a weight, grab it. You can use, if you don't have weight, that's fine. You can literally fill up a book bag, backpack, a box with stuff in it, anything you can hold, water bottle, filled with water, water jug, anything you have that has weight, that has resistance to it, pick it up, hold it in front of you like this. Get out of the picture, thank you. All right, we're gonna hold it out in front of us like this. You're going to brace your core, okay? You're going to brace your core. Hey, no biting. Okay, you're gonna brace your core, find your foot stance, and you're just gonna go down, okay? Just like that, right in front of you. Down, go as far down as you comfortably can. If you can only go to parallel, that's fine. If you can go below, that's perfect, all right? If you can't quite get all the way there, that's also fine. You just wanna make sure your knees are not caving in like that, okay? So just like that, we're gonna do that for 20 seconds, okay? Then we're gonna go into a sumo goblet squat. So whatever your normal stance is from the goblet squat that we just did, widen it, okay? So my stance is gonna be all the way out here. You're gonna point your toes out a little bit, and we're gonna do a sumo goblet squat. And we're just gonna go like that. And this is gonna hit your glutes a little bit harder, okay? So we're gonna go 20 seconds of sumo goblet squats, okay? No biting, hey. All right, once we're done with that, we're gonna go into 20 seconds of squat jump. So you gotta find your stance, squat down a little bit and jump. Squat and jump. Squat and jump, okay? 20 seconds of squat jumps, all right? That's station one. Once you finish the squat jumps, you take a 20 second break and you repeat that four more times, okay? After that's done, take about a minute to a minute and a half break, two minutes if you really need it, and then we're gonna go into station two. Station two is going to be RDLs, sumo RDLs, and glute bridges. So if you watched my previous videos, you know that all an RDL is is a hip hinge, okay? So you're gonna get your weights in front of you, okay? Engage your lats by either squeezing your armpits together or kind of dropping your shoulders like here. So my shoulders are naturally kind of up here. So you just drop your shoulders down. It's gonna help you engage your lats a little bit. So all you're gonna do, embrace your core, okay? and then sit your hips back like that, maintaining as neutral spine as possible. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes. Squeeze your glutes, come up. There you go. That's all an RDL is, just like that. Not here, okay? We're not squatting it, okay? We're not just dropping the weight in front of you like that. We have a core braced, our lats engaged, and we're sitting our hips back. Notice how far my hips go, my hips start right over my feet, and they end up all the way behind, okay? So that's an RDL, we're gonna do 20 seconds of that, 
If you can't do it with weight, just do it body weight. So basically, you're gonna brace your core still. All you're gonna do is push your hips back and kind of act like you're trying to touch your toes, like you're doing a hamstring stretch, but you're not quite going all the way down. So again, brace your core, go down, come up. Brace your core, go down, come up, squeeze your glutes on the way up. So that's gonna be uh, an RDL. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you can even do it on a single leg, okay? So it's gonna require a lot more balance, but all you're gonna do here, is you're gonna get on one foot and you're gonna keep that back leg back, really nice and high, and then come up, okay? Go down here and come up. And if you're doing a single leg, you're gonna to wanna to switch off each time. You also wanna go nice and slow so that you don't fall over, okay? So after the RDL, we're gonna go into some sumo RDL. So like an RDL, this is a hip hinge, except your feet are gonna be far apart. So normal RDL, shoulder width apart, sumo RDL, gonna take a wide stance. Here, we're still gonna engage our core and engage our lats. All we're gonna do this time is just push our hips back with our feet in a wider position. Okay, so from the side, here, lats engaged, glute, uh, core engaged, and we're just sitting our hips back, except we're in a wide stance position. Okay, just like that. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of that, okay? Once we're done with that, we're going to go into glute bridges, all right? So now I'm gonna show you what a glute bridge is. If you don't know already, you're gonna find a piece of the floor, okay? You're gonna put your feet apart like this. All you're gonna do is thrust your hips up and squeeze your glutes, okay? So just start here, thrust your hips up. Now, if that's too easy for you, you can toss some weight across your lap just like this. Hey, no. You know, put some weight across your lap, squeeze your glutes, just like that. Squeeze your glutes, just like that. If you don't have weight, or it's still too easy, you could even do it on one leg. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Dude, it's tough. Okay, so just like that, one leg, doesn't matter. Your leg is here or up here. I, I just tend to prefer it up here, it's just more comfortable for me. You're gonna get on one leg and you're gonna thrust your hips up. And again, you can even do that with uh, the weight across your lap. Hey, bud, no biting. No biting. Okay, so that's station two. Once you're done with station two, again, minute to a minute and a half rest. And then we're gonna go on to station three. So remember, you're gonna repeat that station two four more times. Kobe, no biting. Okay, so now let's go on to station three. So station three is going to be um, a split squat on your right foot, a split squat on your left foot, and then step through lunges. So I'm gonna show you without weight first. So, okay, so split squat, you're going to put your right leg back. So actually I'm gonna do, I'm gonna emphasize the front leg. So. So the split squat on your right, you're gonna have your right leg forward, left leg back. And all you're going to do is just down. Okay, just go down. Again, it's kind of similar to a lunge, except you're not moving each time, as in like you're not um, coming up. Jesus. Okay. So, Kobe, no. He's probably gonna try and come in here, so if the door opens, just know it's him. But anyways, so I'm gonna show you from a side view. So you're gonna have your right foot forward, left foot back. All you're gonna do is come down, just like that. Straight down, that's gonna be on your right foot. And if you're left, just like that, same thing on the other side, okay? And again, I prefer to touch the ground, my knee, just because it gives me a good point to make sure that I'm going evenly on both sides. And then if you want to do these with weights, um, go right ahead. 
You're just going to go like that. Go straight down, okay? You're not going forward like that. You're not going backwards like that, okay? It's just nice, straight down, back up. Make sure your core is engaged the whole time. And for these, whether your right foot is forward or left foot is forward and vice versa, um, like I have, for example, on the thing, I said split squat with the right first and then left. It doesn't matter. Do which one, whatever. Just switch it up the next time, you know what I'm saying? If that was a bit confusing, I apologize. But all that you want to do is just put one foot forward the first time and then the next 20 seconds put the other one forward. So once you're done with that, then we're going to go to step through lunges. Okay, all a step through lunge is, is a reverse lunge with a forward lunge. Okay, so again, you can do this with no weight, you can do it with weight, water bottles, bags with books in it, whatever you want. So you're going to start with your feet apart, shoulder width about, then you're going to take a step back, and on that same foot, do a forward lunge, okay? Come back up. And then other foot, reverse lunge into a forward lunge. Then we're gonna go reverse lunge again into a forward lunge. Then reverse lunge again into a forward lunge. And look, we're switching legs each time. So the, the foot that's um, like attached to the ground that you're kind of pivoting on remains the same for the forward and the reverse lunge. So let me show you that to make it clear. So I am going to do the reverse lunge with my right foot going back first. So my left foot right here is gonna be attached to the ground the whole time. So I go reverse lunge, and then I'm going into the forward lunge, left foot still attached to the ground, and forward lunge, okay? Then, now my right foot is gonna be attached to the ground, okay? So reverse lunge, still attached, forward lunge. And that's going to be the step through lunge. So again, we're going to do that split squat 20 seconds on one foot forward, split squat 20 seconds with the other foot forward. Then we're going to do step through lunges 20 seconds and then take our 20 second rest, repeat that four times. And that'll be the entire workout. So guys, remember this workout is designed to not only build strength and muscle, but also to get your heart rate up. It's going to make you sweat. So for that reason, you don't want to be taking too, many, uh, too long of a break in between the stations. That's why I usually recommend about a minute to a minute and a half. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try. See how it works for you and modify it as you like, as you please to fit your level or to fit um, whatever aches and pains you're dealing with um, and hope, I hope it works for you. So thanks and I'll see you next time.